everybody. Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a book about a couple of friends that we recently met. Do you remember we met two friends that were very unusual? One was a monkey and one was a cake. Remember that? I think I still have the book up here. Um, there it is, monkey and cake. This is my fort. Remember they were arguing about the fort? Well, they're back, and I'm not sure, but I think they might be arguing about something again, because this is called Monkey and Cake. What is inside this box? What is inside this box? What is inside this box? Looks like Monkey has a box and they're trying to figure out what's inside. Or maybe he's just trying to convince Cake of what's inside. I don't know what's in this box, but we need to get into this book and find out. Are you ready to get into another Monkey and Cake book with Miss Dorothy? Good, I need you to sit up and listen up because here we go. A Monkey and Cake book. What is inside this box? Written by Drew DeWalt, illustrated by Oliver Tallick. Hello, Monkey. Hello, Cake, says Monkey, who's sitting on a box. What do you have? I have a big box. It is a big box. It is a big box. It's almost bigger than Monkey. It is a big box. What is in it? A kitty cat, says Monkey. He says he has a kitty cat in that box. <gasps> a kitty cat is inside the box. Wow, Cake is very surprised by that. Oh, I love kitty cats. Can I see it? No, you cannot. It is a magic cat, says Monkey. What's a magic cat? What? Why can't I see the magic cat? cries Cake. Because the cat disappears when I open the box, says Monkey. That's unusual. So when you open the box, there is no cat inside, asks Cake. Yes, says Monkey. That's kind of odd. And when you close the box, there is a cat inside asked Cake. Hmm, can that be true? Yes! When I open the box, there is no cat. But when I close the box, the cat is in the box, explains Monkey, who even drew a picture about it. How do you know there is a cat in the box when it's closed, says Cake. That's a very good question. How do you know there is not a cake in the box when it is closed, says Monkey. Well, that's a good question too. I don't think there is a cat inside the box when it's closed. Why not, says Monkey. I think that there is no cat in the box when it is open and when you close the box, there is still no cat inside. Hmm, Cake has a good point. You can think anything you want about what is inside the box when it is closed. Well, if you use your imagination, that's true. I can? Yes, you can, says Monkey. Then I think there is a dinosaur in the box when it is closed. You do? Can I see it? Asks Monkey. No, it is a magical dinosaur and when you open the box, it disappears. Uh-oh, now Cake's saying there's a dinosaur in the box and it's magical. Hmm, says Monkey. I still think it is a cat. Hmm, says Cake. And I think it is a dinosaur. Well, we will never know. You are right, says Cake. We will never know. Hmm. So they just look at the box because they can never know what's inside. Let's go get some pie, says Monkey. Okay, I love pie, says Cake. Oh, and look, there's a kitty cat looking out of the box.
What? Was there really a dinosaur and cat in the box and they couldn't see it when they opened it? That's crazy. Well, number one, how did that dinosaur fit in that box? I can see the cat, but I don't know about the dinosaur. But that was a lot of fun. Monkey and Kate kept making things up about what was in the box, but they couldn't agree upon it. So they finally said, OK, let's just go get some pie. I love that they love pie because I love pie. But then they turn around and there is a dinosaur and cat in the box. What a crazy book. What a great imagination. I like monkey and cake. I like the way they play together. And I like that even when they disagree, they go off and have fun together and that they have pie. I think that's what we should all do. If we're having a little disagreement with our friend to say, no, 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 forget about it. Let's go get some pie. Pie is a good thing to have with your friend. And I like that monkey and cake are good friends. Those books make me happy. I hope they make you happy too because I love reading about good friends. Good friends like you and me. But right now, it's time for all my little friends to get into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, if you have a big box, use your imagination. You can pretend anything you want is inside that box. Have fun with it, have a great day, and whatever you do, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book, and I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it, and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.